Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you are going through a period of um, maybe some anger and disappointment at the moment. There's some good friendship that you are in, involved in and maybe you're getting some support from that. Maybe you're thinking of actually having a casual affair, um, you know, to get your mind off things really. So in the past, there's been somebody that you've been quite infatuated with and you've been trying to spend some time with this person, um, you know, some quality time with this person. Now going to the future, you've got some manipulation and control fact if it, features going on or factors going on. So just watch out for this person. Uh, you know, they might be, uh, they might have a hidden agenda. So it's important for you to take care or be very cautious before proceeding. And you are going through a phase where you're feeling a bit low. Uh, there's low self-esteem. So you actually need to work a little bit on yourself before you start uh, jumping into any kind of relationship. Rely on this good friendship. This might be something that's very supportive and will be something that you can use to get you through a difficult phase. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the uh, <clears throat> Romantic Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled to this deck. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Cups over here. So you might be spending a lot of time with old friends, uh, you know, going up and meeting up with old um, people that you used to know, uh, you know, going back to uh, maybe visiting um, people from your past, maybe even people that you've had relationships with. Uh, but you're definitely, uh, you know, getting together with people or friends from your past and uh, maybe going out having, uh, you know, a lot of parties. Maybe you're also, um, you know, reviewing the past as well and looking back at all the old relationships that you used to have um, or thinking back of, about it, um, you know, maybe being very nostalgic at this particular moment with the Six of Cups. So what's happening with you? You've got the Strength card over here. Uh, so you feel like, you know, whatever efforts you've been putting into any kind of relationship any kind of relationship has been a little bit of a waste of time because you can see this man's pulling the stone lion and it's not moving. So you had a lot of problems in that past relationship and it seems like whatever efforts you've tried to put in to remedy the situation didn't actually work out and you felt that, um, you know, it was a bit of a waste of time. This could be going on in a relationship right now that whatever efforts you're putting into that relationship may not be working and you're not uh, making any progress with it, not making any headway. So a new offer, um, you know, has come in for you. So maybe this is the relationship that, you know, you don't really uh, want to uh, exert any effort into. Somebody has made an offer to you. It seems, you know, it looks like you were carrying on by yourself and um, it looks like this particular offer has come in. This is the Four of Cups over here. Maybe you're not really interested at this particular moment. Uh, you're happy to continue, uh, you know, on the single life right now. and uh, But this uh, offer seems to be quite genuine at this particular moment. Maybe you feel like, you know, if you accept it, it's not going to be something that's going to give you any kind of um, benefit uh, with this, uh, you know, the, with the strength card, you know, having put effort into it and it not working out. And, and now this offer comes in and you don't feel like it's going to be worth your while pursuing it. So the relationship... Uh, in the past, it seems like you've ended a relationship. Maybe the person that you uh, were involved in was very controlling. Uh, you can see this man's tying up the uh, ribbon in her um, apron in the back. So it looks like maybe this man uh, or this person made you work really hard. They were always trying to manipulate you, trying to control your every movie, you know, so much so as to control what you even wore. Uh, they even were people that, uh, somebody that controlled the money. So they held the purse strings as well. And, uh, you know, they were always behind your back. So um, it seems like, you know, you had some kind of financial um, tie. So this could have been a marriage or a very, very committed relationship. And this person was pretty controlling as well. 
and you know um you can see this man's in blue over here so maybe they were very cold towards you and um you know they didn't show much emotions maybe everything was about the money and it looks like this relationship came to an end you've got that 10 of of uh, pentacles there so in the past three months, you've got the eight, eight of Cups over here. So you have walked away from that particular relationship. And maybe you've been socializing quite a bit with uh, a lot of different kinds of people. Because you can see this man's out there in the night with these two women. Maybe even having a lot of casual affairs or casual relationships. And that's been going on in the last uh, three months or so. Now what's happening, uh, what's in your mind? You've got the um, Queen of Cups over here. And this is you. Uh, this is your card. And it seems like, you know, you, you know, the Queen of Cups is somebody that's a bit depressed. She's hiding behind a mask, pretending everything is okay when it's not, uh, feeling very, very lonely, very, very isolated, uh, feeling as though, you know, uh, life has let her down and feeling very, very disappointed. There's an element of depression that runs through the Queen of Cups. She cries quite a bit and is very, very emotional. And that's how you're feeling at the moment. So uh, going to the future, you've got that five of frauds over here. So you are, uh, you know, uh, dealing with difficult people around you. There's a lot of competition. Maybe you do want to get into a relationship with somebody and, you know, uh, you're not making any headway. There seems to be a lot of arguments and fights going on around you with this uh, five of frauds, uh, you know. And um, it seems like, uh, you know, um, maybe there have been offers, but they have been, uh, you know, offers that have not really... Um, had any merit or any grounding in it you can see this man's hiding the flowers so you know maybe people have offered you uh, relationships but have not come through for you and you know you are feeling very challenged in this particular situation so uh, what's going on with you you have been looking at other people's relationships and that's what you want but you are afraid to make a move you put up your barriers over here and you don't really want to um, you know cross them uh, you do want a relationship that is, um, you know, completely um, romantic, uh, where somebody takes care of you, but you are also afraid of being very manipulated or very controlled, and that is why you're not ready to make any kind of move. Uh, you know, you are still dealing with a lot of issues from the past, uh, going through a lot of, um, you know, mental anguish, really, uh, anxiety problems, and uh, you don't really want to cross that barrier and make that uh, mistake again so you are keeping to yourself with that nine of rods you're also very very defensive the nine of rods is a very defensive card it's watching out for your back and being very suspicious of everybody around you now what's going on around you? you've got the seven of coins over here so you seem to have been focused a lot on your work um you know you're investing your time uh, it seems on your work on making money or on your job really and that is something that is keeping you quite busy so your new hopes and fears, you are afraid of another heartbreak, so you are keeping your distance from people. Whatever happened uh, really broke your heart. There was a lot of, uh, there was a loss of communication with this particular person. They seem to have left your life quite suddenly. That relationship ended, and maybe you wanted, to, uh, you know, to resurrect it, but it's not going to be possible. Uh, so you are trying, you know, you are very afraid of being heartbroken again. So going into the future, you've got uh, the King of Swords. Uh, the Knight of Rods, and you've got the Sun card over here. So there might be some kind of legal situation that you're dealing with. Uh, you could have gone through a divorce with this King of Swords, that's a judgment being passed. So there seems to have been some kind of legal decision that uh, um, occurred. So there might be a finality to your divorce uh, situation that you're going through. On the other hand, you could have been dealing with an air sign person. So this could be um, uh, Libra... Um, Aquarius or Gemini as the sign, uh, but whoever this person is, uh, you know, they seem to be very cold, very distant, um, very harsh. Uh, they have very harsh words as well, and it seems like communication between you and this person has broken up. You've got your shield uh, there, and, you know, it seems like uh, whatever they say is very hurtful, and you don't seem to have very, very much defense against them. So they are a very, very difficult person to deal with, and they seem to be appearing still um, a little bit in your life. So you, you might have some legal situation to deal with with that particular person. Now, you've got somebody coming in. You've got the Knight of Rods. So it looks like, uh, you know, things are going to start moving. There might be a new offer coming in. There's a communication with this particular person. And this person might be a fire sign person. So you might be dealing with a um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Uh, you might also be thinking about actually traveling and moving away from the situation and going and working somebody out or somewhere else and starting a fresh 
somewhere else. So that could be something that you are deciding uh, to do. And maybe some kind of communication comes in. There's definitely some action over here and some movement. So there could be even some travel, uh, you know, indicated. So maybe after this court case has occurred, you might decide that you're going to make a move and actually just completely relocate uh, to work somewhere else and start afresh somewhere else. You've got the Sun card over here, so a lot of clarity coming in for you. So if this is a person coming in with this Knight of Rods, uh, you know, bringing that fire energy, they're also going to bring a message of clarity and maybe a little bit of happiness for you as well, something that changes the way you look at things and takes you out of that feeling of depression. On the other hand, if you decide that you're going to travel, you might be traveling to a warmer country and you might decide, uh, you know, that you want to start afresh over there and start working over there. The sun card also indicates work and starting afresh somewhere and also having success in that particular place. So you're deciding uh, you're going to make some kind of decision after this judgment has been passed uh, about either moving or maybe somebody comes in and starts a new relationship with you. But definitely the outcome is the sun, which is a very, very positive card, which means that things are on the up and, uh, you know, there's going to be a turnaround. This is also about timing. So things are about to happen or things are about to change for you. Uh, you know, you might even meet somebody uh, if you travel or move away from uh, that old situation to something new. Uh, if you start a new job somewhere, it might be that, you know, you end up meeting somebody as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. That's for the Oracle read. So you've got change your life over here, um, and this is a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that bring change. So there are things that are starting to move very, very quickly for you. This is really the tower card uh, in the uh, normal tarot, so that means there's going to be a sudden change of events or big drastic uh, changes of events. And this seems to be following whatever this uh, legal issue is that you're dealing with. If it's that divorce, it becomes final, and then you decide that you're going to you know, the tower takes people out of old situations and puts them into new situations. So it looks like this particular legal issue uh, that you're dealing with, once it comes through, you're going to be moving or changing, maybe relocating. Um, there's an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts and documents very thoroughly. So it looks like that news is coming in for you or that decision is being made and you're going to be moving. Uh, you've got the kite over there. So you're, it, seem, it seems like there might be some air travel as well involved over here. Um, and... Um, you know, you, it, it might be that you're actually leaving that old situation and completely moving away from it. You've got the Nine of Gabriel over here, which says, stay determined and move uh, forward. Be prepared for any possibility. So with the Nine of Gabriel, it's, you know, watch your back. It's the Nine of Rods. Watch your back. Look out. You've got that Nine of Rods over here as well. So make sure that you're keeping your defenses up and, uh, you know, don't go get back into an old situation that wasn't serving you in the first place. Uh, and because there was a lot of fights and battles in that old situation. So it is time for you to, uh, you know, stand up for yourself, uh, defend yourself uh, and um, move on from that old situation. Because there seems to have been a lot of fighting and arguments. You've got that five of rods over here. And, you know, there's a lot of discontent that has been going on. So you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to be made. Um, there looks like there is some kind of uh, offer, but it doesn't seem like you're that interested in it at this particular moment. Maybe you do feel like it's a bit of a waste of time. Now, because this is the um, strength card, this is also ruled by Leo. So this person could be that fire sign. And this could be this person that comes in over here, you know, the final outcome as a fire sign person coming in. So that could well be the person. If you decide to continue a relationship with this person, it looks like it's going to work out. You've got the sun card at the end following that um, Knight of Rods. So, you know, this offer might not seem to be something that you really want to pursue, but it might end up being something that is good for you or brings you uh, a little bit of happiness and takes you out of that uh, phase of depression. Um, so uh, it's up to you to make that decision. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.